Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. And in the last episode, we had a mighty battle and defeated the bandit slash Cuban camp and killed Runt. We didn't get the sword back, unfortunately. What doggy? But now, it looks like our next quest is to go to the Hall of the Upper Castle. Not only that, um, in Ratai, it looks like if we go up to Ujits, as where was the other place, and Talmberg, there may be some uh, other quests available. We have quest tipsters that have suddenly popped up there. And was there anything in Sasau? No, just the old familiar faces. Well, let's go ahead and head into the castle and have a chat. See what the aftermath of this is. I'm also getting some really weird kind of like lag spikes. You guys see that right there? I have no idea what that's from. I don't really think I have anything running in my com running from uh, my computer that wouldn't be normally. But it's okay. Go to the hall. We're in the hall. We're about to get a cinema scene. My lord. I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Perbislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? My men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Probislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. Uh, that is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Fa... Fa... what? I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. They're counterfeit. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Curva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... <laughs> ...worth. Yeah. Probably should have started with that. Curva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschens seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppeldell! Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. Right. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Well, at least they didn't attack Talmberg or any of the other towns when we were doing the offensive. There's that, at least. Find out what happened to Matthias. Oh, yeah. Gotta find out what happened to our buddy. Now then, we have got... No, that's Ledechko. Where's Merajid? Oh, that was a town right up here. Gotcha. Okay. 
Well, before we do that, I have decided that we are going to go ahead and get rid of our Scallet's Tabard. And we are going to get something a little bit more appropriate looking. I want a, I want a nice looking uh, Tabard. So we are going to run over here to the Tailors and get something fashionable. And also go ahead and see what we can do about... What's that? Cobbler. Oh, if we want some new boots. Oh, there's no tailor here. Oh, yeah, there is. They're all over here. Pebbles! Also get our stuff repaired, because I don't know... When we got our new digs, we healed up all the way, because we were bleeding profusely. But I don't know if... Our armor and whatnot can say the same. Guess we're about to find out. My cabbages! Jesus Christ, be praised. Repairs. Okay, good thing we did that then. Select all. No haggling. Just repairs. The people come up close and have a smell. Now we're gonna have to find something that looks good on Henry. How's it going? That's... Hadn't heard that before. Okay, repaired. God be with you. I could do the black-yellow hood. And... Decorated Scallet's Waffenrock. Yeah, we could do that and look a little bit better. I just don't like the, I don't like the short um, tabard, so those tassels might actually work. See, and there's the the long tabard. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably going to work out the best for us because we can't wear a dress. For whatever reason. Now I'm going to go ahead and let you uh, have a little chat with you guys. I actually had the ending of this game spoiled to me, unfortunately. Not a whole lot I could do about it. And I am kind of disappointed in how the game's how the game ends, but we are going to keep on keeping on. We've gone we've gone this far, you know what I mean? We need to go ahead and uh, continue with the story at least to where the base game ends. So we're just going to uh, just soldier on, which is the same shame because I do have some I have some pretty strong opinions about the ending of this game and how they chose to go about it, and we'll wait for that particular time, wait for that particular moment. But until then, let's head to. Should we go ahead and travel to Marajed, or should we? Let's go to. Ujits first, because I want to see what these uh, quest tipsters are doing for us. Now we are on pebbles, aren't we? I think we are. Yep. Considering how fast we're moving, I would say so. Maybe they're just going to give activities. And I'm waiting for the assault. Wow. Went all the way from the bottom of the map to the north. Let's go talk to this innkeeper who refuses to give us the room that we paid for. Still bitter about that. I'm glad that so many people liked that last episode. That was a pretty epic fight. I think it would have been too easy. It wouldn't have been entertaining. All right there, sir. What do you got Welcome, for me? Henry. Good day to you. Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. I heard there's been quite a ruckus in Tomberg. It seems some gang of poachers has settled in the woods there. I couldn't tell you anything about it, though. You best talk to Nicholas, the Tomberg master hunter. Oh, okay. So you're sending me to Tomberg. 
makes sense. Let's check the map and see if that's a side quest or a task. Nope, that is a side quest. And that was the mission in question. That's cool. Got some poachers, huh? Who would ever do such a thing? <clears throat> yeah, we'll head back over here. It'll be good to see Talmberg not in a state of panic. Attack on the road. Avoid? Foe. Evade. Success. <laughs> good old Pebbles. Pebbles become quite adept at getting out of harm's way. And it is very much nighttime. Let's go ahead and get our torch equipped. And ride to the quest giver. Hopefully he is not asleep. I don't want to fast travel. I do want to mark the map, though. There we go. Yeah. Then we'll travel to, uh, we'll see what's going on here. Maybe get some sleep, then go to Merged. And see, Henry. do some interrogations. That's weird that they, I'm kind of curious though, because they attacked Merged to try and, and prove their strength, I guess, after getting thrashed. They got beaten back and someone got captured. That doesn't seem to be the same group. I don't know. It doesn't sound like the same group. Not to me, at least. Okay, are you awake, my friend? Yes, you are. Burning the midnight oil, eh? I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Master Huntsman, is there any work for me here? There's always something that needs doing. Oh. You're that Scalitz lad, aren't you? Sir Radzig's lackey. Beg your pardon? Sir Radzig is my liege, and I serve him faithfully. But that doesn't make me a lackey. As you wish. What matters to me is that you're no layabout looking for easy work. I have a job here I can't give to just anyone. I'm listening. We've been having terrible problems with poachers lately. In Sir Divish's forests, we've been finding gutted entrails of deer and rabbit nooses all over the place, but no sign of the bastards who put them there. And you want me to track down the poachers? Indeed. Whatever you learn will be useful to me. Do you suspect anyone? Well, it's hard to say, but seeing how much harm they're causing, I'd say they're no crofters looking for a Sunday roast. He's very posh for a, uh, for a huntsman. Or, yeah. Shouldn't you be dealing with the poachers yourself? I should, I should, you're quite right. But when I ask the local folk anything, their mouths close up like clams. They're more scared of me than the devil. Do you think the locals are in on it? Well, I don't know, maybe. But even if not... They'll never talk to me. They're scared I'll dig some skeleton out of their cupboard. You know, the smaller the village, the bigger the secrets. That's why I need an outsider to ask for me. I understand. I'll try to find out something about them. Any advice about where to start? Certainly. Ask around the village. Somebody must have seen or heard something. And it wouldn't hurt to ask in the Inn in the Glade, the one on the road towards Neuhof. I've heard they serve good venison, and no shortage of it. That's clear enough. As soon as I hear anything, I'll let you know. Thanks for your help, lad. Oh, that's where we grab the uh, cumin costume. Take care. Alrighty. Ask around the village, check out the Inn of the Glade. Gotta get these side quests out of the way before we get back to the main main event. And I don't know how many more side quests we have to go. 
Um, to my understanding, there are a few side quests that are going to pop up that have to do with the main storyline. Uh, kind of like the optional uh, sabotage the arrows and poison the food. But other than that, I am not sure. Why do you... Oh, okay. I was like, why don't you have a torch? You have a lantern. Over to see what God needed fixing Henry. After the Hi guys. Henry's come to see us. I think to see the carpenter about when he could get round to it. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? I'd like to find out about the poachers round here who've been stealing game recently. What about them? Well, I wondered if you've got any idea who might be doing it. Tom of the Baths was mouthing off in the tavern. That's all I know. Tom of the Baths. Take care. But at least the rest of the house is alright. Only that fucking roof. Tom? Ooh, that's some comfort at least. God bless. How do? Okay. Check out the hearsay about Thomas in the tavern. Innkeeper? Can't talk. There Greetings, we go. Greetings, good night. How may I serve you? I've heard Tom of the Baths was mouthing off in here. So he did. He and Jack Piper were bragging about how they'd make a feast for the village lasses, that there'd be venison roast and enough beer to fill a river. And a few days later, they did come and buy a few kegs of beer from me. Did they have anything else to say? Not really. I told him to shut up, or someone would hear him and there'd be trouble. And what did he say to that? Nothing. He had more booze in him than the castle cellar. He just hiccuped and slid under the table. Piper took him off after that, thank God. And who is this Jake Piper? Oh, he's Tom's best mate. A decent fellow. They call him the Piper because everywhere he goes, he's whistling on that pipe of his. Where can I find him? Well, most likely in the quarry. He lends a hand there to make ends meet. Ah, okay. Do you suppose he meant it? Hardly. He's nothing but a braggart. All right. I'd best ask him myself. I feel free to ask, but don't believe half what he says. Do you think Nicholas isn't doing enough? A master huntsman who lets poachers run wild through his woods? He's useless. He couldn't even stop them hanging a stag's head on his own house. Right. Well then. Thank you, innkeeper. I'll be going. Goodbye. So it doesn't look like there's anything else going on. Let's check the map. Talk to Jake Piper. He's nearby. Find out what happened to Thomas from the bathhouse. Hey, I never need an excuse to go visit the bathhouse. And you know what? Well, if they never give me the choice to talk to Teresa again. A bit of light. She sits down and gets on with watch it. Over you, Henry. Maybe Henry needs to treat himself. Henry, I'm glad you came. Hi. We need to have a chat. You've no business here. Clear I'm off. So I... Oh, whoops. Sorry. Do you want something? Yeah, I, I need to talk to Tom. That sounded like... Does he need to go pee? He's going to bed at 11 o'clock. Alright, well we'll just hang out here in the courtyard. We're technically not trespassing. We're loitering, but not trespassing. Though some people tend to see them as the same thing. Ah, oh, it's such a good perk. No nourishment loss, no energy loss. Just stand there like a statue, like a weeping angel. Okay, Mr. Tom of the Baths. Looks like you were back in here. Oh, you have to lockpick? Well, in the meantime... I'd like to, uh, order something here. And what is it you'd like? 
pay for a wench, get a haircut, get a shave. Eh, let's go with that. Uh, I'll certainly need a physician to treat my wounds. Then a hot bath and uh, launder in my clothes. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Goodbye. The bath maids will make a new man out of you. One hour later. All right, Tom, are you ready to talk yet? Henry, I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah, I am. Where did Tom go? Oh, Tom's now that way. Oops, sorry. Be a bit more careful. God be with you. I hear there's been trouble with poachers recently. I don't have time to talk to strangers. Good day to you. Good luck, then. <laughs> I'm here to find out about the poachers gang, and I need to ask a few questions. Well, ask away. I don't have all day. I heard you were yelling in the tavern that you were off to hunt some venison. Look here. I don't know who you are, but you should watch your mouth. I will. Don't you worry. So what happened then? What? Nothing. It was just the beer talking. I got pissed and started spouting shit. Didn't mean a word of it. Maybe not. That remains to be seen. That'll do me. That'll do, pig. That'll do. See you later. All right. So, eh, you know what? While I'm here, do 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 do. If the nobility does it, why can't Henry? Hey, Henry's to see, us. see what this is about. I'd like to, uh, or- And what? Okay, we did the laundry. Um, haircut and a shave, I think we like. I've, uh, heard you have nice girls here. As you wish. Do you have the coin? Only 40? The same for laundry? Wow, really? Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. <laughs> Well then, seems that she, uh, she might be at least. One hour later. God be with you, Henry. A and and you too, ma'am. Do 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 do. Ah. Well then. While we're here, dried mushroom out oh, a pretzel. Okay, well, thank you, ma'am. Figured Henry deserved it after that arduous battle in the last episode. So, that's Thomas from the bathhouse. We already, nothing bad happened to him. He was just spouting off nonsense. Let's try the quarry then. Yeah. Unless Thomas suddenly ends up dead. And I know we still have the torch in our hand. That's something we're going to have to deal with. Oh, right, pebbles. God save you, Henry. Yeah. Yeah, Cory's this way. Remember that rock wall? Let's uh go ahead and unequip the torch. Get our shield back to to normal. I see that we have a ton of arrows in our yeah. inventory. I probably should have looted all of those bodies, but I wouldn't have had room for all of it. And the merchants wouldn't have enough gold. We may head up there to that uh, encampment and 
loot if we need the coin a little bit later. And hello, Jake. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I need to ask you something about the poachers. What? Me? Why me, for Christ's sake? They say you were mouthing off in the tavern. We'd all had a few ales. You know what it's like. The tales get taller. So you didn't go poaching with Thomas? My God, no. That would never even cross our minds. Thomas is a bit wild, but I have some sense, at least. Take care. So... I guess this is a dead end. Let's head over to the inn then. We may have to come back. I don't they haven't disappeared yet on our map. Fortunately we got the fast travel here. And it's just midday, so they'll still be up and about. And no attacks. I think we had our fill of combat last time. Now, who do I... I guess I talk to the innkeeper. Good old Andrew, who we've chatted to before. I'm honored that you should come to me. Enters training. Ah. Listen, innkeeper. I hear you have some game here from time to time. Aye, we have dice games happening most nights. <laughs> you make a stuffed bird laugh. You know full well what I mean. No, I've no idea what you're talking about. Uh, oh, we are much better. I'm not here to make any trouble for you. Just looking for some job I can uh, aim for. Another string to my bow, so to speak. Hmm. I think I'm catching your drift. Splendid. But before I tell you anything, I'll have to put you to the test. You know, I can't send every Tom, Dick and Harry to my friends. Fair enough. What do you want me to do? At the stud farm near here, there's a stable hand by the name of Yakub. Bastard got lucky at dice and won my favorite tankard off me. And what's that got to do with me? If you'd stop interrupting, you might find out. Fair enough. Anyway, he's so full of himself, he doesn't want to give it back, not even for money. But he's very fond of archery, and I don't need to add he likes to make bets. I'm with you. If I can win your tanker right back and bring it to you, you'll know that I That you're not completely useless. That's right. So, get going. I'm thirsty, and I'll always taste it better out of my trusty old tanker. Radio, sheep in wolf's clothing. Andrew, we had such good times together. There. Remember when you had me go kill a bunch of cumans? Check out the end of the glade. Get Andrew's tankard from Laborer Jacob. Alright guys, well looks like we're going to be doing some archery in the beginning of the next episode. We're going to go ahead and end it here and pick it up next time. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.